The Germany which finally signed the armistice in this wagon in France on November the 11th, 1918, was led by Democrats. The Supreme Army commanders made sure that no one from the military signed the armistice. Instead, it was done by the politician Matthias Erzberger. He was later assassinated for this very act. Even though it was obvious that Germany could not have won the war, a legend was created and spread amongst the German people that the undefeated German army had been stabbed in the back by the Democrats, the November criminals. In July 1919, the new democratic constitution was passed with a two-thirds majority. When it was officially proclaimed in August, Germany became a parliamentary democracy. The fact that Germany was now a democracy was not taken into account at the Versailles Peace Conference. The victors basically dictated the treaty and decided that Germany was solely responsible for World War I. In November 1923, General Ludendorff, aided by Adolf Hitler and his private army, the stormtroopers, staged the Beer Hall Putsch. Ludendorff, who had demanded an immediate armistice in 1918, now called the democratic government traitors. The push was put down by the army and police. Hitler was found hiding and was arrested. Hitler was sentenced to just five years in prison. Ludendorff, the war hero, was set free. It was while in prison that Hitler wrote down his philosophical and political ideas in his book Mein Kampf. The Reichstag election on the 14th of September 1930 saw the breakthrough of the Nazi party. The Nazis' representation in the Reichstag increased from 12 to 107 members. They were now the Republic's second largest party. Escalating unemployment fueled the rise of extremist parties. In October 1931, the German National Party and the Nazi Party formed a right-wing coalition. The parties became more like armies. To secure the authority of the state, the government banned Hitler's private armies, the SA and SS. Hitler didn't have enough power to stage a push, but he was still a loose cannon. They can oppress us, they can kill us, but we will never surrender. Hitler stepped up the fight against the democracy from election to election, and there were two in 1932. On the 16th of January 1933, the Nazis scored a landslide in the County Lippe election. Hitler seemed unstoppable. On the 30th of January, 1933, President Hindenburg appointed Adolf Hitler as Chancellor of the German Reich. Thank you.